So I can't believe companies don't are still making the decisions like this without really looking at it the way that you are taking them through. I, I know. I can't believe it either. <laughs> right, right, can I, can I, let me pose a question to Hugh. Are you talking about the company that she used to work for and she couldn't believe what was happening? Or are you talking about the company that would be the client? Or uh, Yeah, the client company that, oh, okay. uh, that, that spent a, over a million dollars on a, oh, on right, a right. platform that nobody was using oh. and didn't obje- address their business but objectives. I want to get back to... Thanks, you. I want to get back to that company that you were working for for a little while, maybe two days, and you thought, oh, <laughs> God, God, they don't Seven do this. <laughs> um, what was the reason? What was their so-called reason, is what I'm saying? Is it just because they're trying to be like, you know, Holiday Inn could be a very boring hotel, uh, the food very bland, but everyone's got to follow the thing or else they'll be shot, you know, the staff, because they want to keep it like every other hotel. Is it along that thinking or, or what? You can't it, tell. I don't know. It was reusing information is is a new idea. It, new, that, I can't talk. It's new okay. idea to a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I had come from an accounting background where you know we went out and did the audits and did tax returns and did you know financial statements and we were expected to use the previous year's file um, mm-hmm. in doing this year's audit or this year's accounting returns and things. Um, and if it was the first year for an audit, it took say three months but the second year we came to do it we were expected to to shave like 30 percent off it because we were reusing last year's Mm -hmm. files so Mm -hmm. when i came to do it and and it's and there's all kinds of checklists and templates and things in accounting yeah so it became the way certainly i worked and was was used to working um when i went to this this larger company certainly different not in accounting field in a technology field but there it was different than what they had been used to doing. Uh, the reusing was, was if I reused information, it, um, it was um, to save me time and would give me credibility, but there was um, a vested, people had a vested interest in keeping the knowledge to themselves mm-hmm. and not sharing it because it ensured their, their job, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it wasn't part of the culture the same way as it was in accounting. Mm. So Okay. Um, so what are like there's a lot of tools out there that have been developed and and as you say you don't necessarily develop the tools but you uh d- based on the company's needs after your interview process you go out there and find the tools the systems mm-hmm. and so forth that are going to be a good match for helping the company achieve their objectives right. are and there's been a lot of development in this area in mm-hmm. the last few years are there some really good things out there that uh that that like you know, are there certain things that almost always you're going to go and think that's a good possibility for certain companies? Well, one of the, the technologies that comes up a lot, um, I won't say whether it's good or bad, it depends what the situation is, but one that's very popular right now is SharePoint from Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, there's a lot of companies that have, have implemented it. Um, it's good. It takes on this real groundswell at the grassroots level because um, it's very, it's in um, interfaces with the the Microsoft Office platform, so Word and Excel and PowerPoint, the programs that people are using all the time. Um, and so a lot of organizations have found they've got this whole SharePoint um, infrastructure that they didn't ever plan or, or count on. It just grows. It just grows. It just, it's a big intranet, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Collaboration, sharing, yeah. document repository. All right. So... All right, so companies might find that that's sort of gotten out of hand, and people are using it for non-productive. Well, not or even not non-productive, just things that people didn't ever envision they were going right. to use it for. So well, that could be a good thing, maybe. It is a good thing, except that it's grown uncontrollably, and NIT, you know, needs to put some boundaries around, you know, standardization and cost control and, mm-hmm. and things and knowing what's out there mm-hmm. um, so that things are being pro- properly backed up and, and taken care of, too. So, Now, what about these things like you hear about, uh, things like uh, enterprise resource planning? Is that something mm-hmm. that, is that, a, is that a brand name or is that a concept? No, it's a concept. Okay. Yeah. But there are some major providers out there like a couple like a small number of major yeah. providers of that kind of yeah. service yeah are, are is that something you look at when you're uh, helping a company i um i will that's not where i've spent a lot of my time mm-hmm. because those are typically um the accounting systems and purchasing systems and those are are systems that are more 
um, what's a good word, just more stable or more known within the organization. Um, the enterprise content management, the intranet stuff is more, it's new technology, you know, it's a purchasing processes have been, accounts payable processes have been around forever mm -hmm. and people know how that works and, and, and people have to use those systems as the other piece of it. If I go and put a new, in an, in a new ERP system and I'm in purchasing, I have to use that system to get my job done. Mm -hmm. Whereas enterprise content management systems that are helping collaboration and document reuse and, and sharing information is a new way of thinking about doing my job. I can probably get around using that technology. My IT department may have chosen a, a platform and put something in for the intranet and help me collaborate. But if they've not trained and communicated with me about how to use it, I can find a way around using it. Send it to email, put it on a share drive, mm -hmm. you know, walk it across the room on a memory stick, all kinds of ways to get around using it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I've focused on enterprise content management systems is they've, they've typically sort of been ignored because they do take a lot more effort on the, the people and process side. So you'll have, um, uh, maybe I'm coming from a different direction here. You could come in to see a company that may have some tools right there. Yep. You know, and you can say, look, you got this, that, let's just try to coordinate this. And it may, uh, and you might say, look, you know, you just need me for a couple of days. You've got all these things right here. Yeah. Um, to, or you almost have it, but you just missed the point. Mm -hmm. And may I help you with this? But saying that, it is a people's, we're run by people, yep. which is a good thing, really. It is. Uh, it's, it's, even though we may like the film, and I did like the film, uh, Wally, mm. there is in any industry difficulty with people sometimes. I, I used to be in advertising where someone says, We want uh, this that's got this, and it's the world thing, and they keep saying the world. They're asking for your advice, but they really are telling you what you're to do, mm -hmm. like you're the butler. Mm -hmm. How do you work around that? I mean, that's dealing with difficult personalities sometimes. Absolutely. And it's sitting down and being open to the, and asking questions about why they think it's got to be a particular way or not some other way. Yeah. Um, and not getting entrenched in, it has to be this way. We have to use this platform this way and this is the only way to, to yeah. use it. This is, so opening the door to the dialogue and, and creating that open communication. Um, sometimes it's tough and sometimes... And that's reminding them that you, know, you did want me here. Yes. That's what I'm here for. Absolutely. But if you already know what you want, then I don't need to be here. Exactly. I mean, you can say it a nicer way than oh, that. Absolutely. But, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So, but, but I get fit up with that for my advertising day, so I'm just saying that. So, yeah. 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 So, but at the end of the day, if they don't want to listen to my advice, yeah, that's their thing. Yeah. So... And... Um, you win. I, I would think that you'll win most cases. You win people over with you know. That's why they had you there in the first place to mm -hmm. advise on on whatever the situation is. Yeah, yeah. Someone internally has said we've got to do this better. Yeah, know, and and so has brought me in to to help them do it better. So, yeah. But it's interesting. What sometimes happens is we'll get part way through a project. And that person who's brought me in leaves the organization. It happens, <laughs> and someone who comes in to fill their their role afterwards doesn't get it mm -hmm. and the project just withers and dies mm -hmm. and it's so disappointing when that happens mm -hmm. to see all this hard work and effort that that certainly I have done and, and the client staff have done and see that that leadership isn't there has has gone and and the project what was once you know had we had great hope in mm -hmm. has has just gone away so so how can uh, gee I got two questions I want to ask you um, what are the kind what are the kinds of ways that good knowledge management in a company can essentially at the end of the day help the bottom line of the company how does it pay off oh it pays off just because people know where to go to get the information they need to do their jobs if i am working on you know come back to purchasing if i'm new in the purchasing department and don't know what the policies are around purchasing in the organization. I know who to go, I know where to go to on the internet. I know if I'm working on a project with some other people that I have some a place to go to collaborate. We don't have to send emails back and forth. We know because this happens all the time. Mm -hmm. People email documents back and forth and, and do their own edits and then mm -hmm. nobody knows what's the right version. Mm 